Greetings, everyone, as we continue on now in September with uh, Labor Day over. I hope everyone had a restful, peaceful, enjoyable Labor Day now that the fair is over also. And we head into some difficult days, I think, with the COVID. So we all want to keep each other, keep ourselves safe and do the best we can. I read an article by Celestine Chua how this man saved 160 people from suicide. She tells the story of Don Ritchie, who has lived beside a cliff used for suicidal jumps for 50 years. Every time someone approaches the cliff, he goes out to make sure that they don't take their life. Over the years, he has stopped at least 160 people from killing themselves. That's just the official estimate the real number is said to be about 400, according to his family. Uh, Don Ritchie passed away May of 2012. Don happened to live near what's called the Gap. It's an ocean cliff at Sydney, Australia. And it's a popular visitor destination, which has gained infamy as a suicide spot over the years. It is estimated that about 50 people end their lives there each year. As individuals walked up to the cliff, looking at the clashing of the waves and the crashing of the waves below, wondering about should they jump, Don would approach them with a smile and simply say to them, why don't you come and have a cup of tea? Accepting his offer, these people would be invited into his home where they would have a chat over tea. No counseling, no advising, no prying, just one human being lending a listening ear to another. Some of these people had mental problems. Some had medical illnesses. Some are just people going through a rough patch in life. But for many, a listening ear was apparently what they needed as they changed their minds about jumping after the chat and turned back home. What a simple, simple story for us. We're all wondering what we can do to, you know, live out the gospel, minister in the message of Jesus and compassion. What's simpler than, would you like to come in and have a cup of tea and chat? Especially these days when so many people are isolated because of COVID and afraid. Some of our parishioners here at the cathedral, uh, I've seen them go down considerably because of the isolation. So sometimes a quick phone call if we can't, aren't, aren't comfortable going to see them. But otherwise, if we are, come over for a cup of tea, come over for a cup of coffee. This is the challenge we face. We can all do something like that. Let us think of those people around us in our neighborhood, parishioners who might be finding it very difficult these days, whether it's through grief or medical issues on their own or just the isolation of COVID. Come on in and have a cup of tea. What a better way to have a listening ear. Let's do that for each other. Have a good week, everyone.